Hi guys, welcome to vsoldier.com or welcome back if you've been here before you're listening as always to vsoldier and today I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, take a step back from the usual sort of tutorial walkthrough type videos I normally produce so the gameplay you're watching is some footage of myself just killing a bit of time playing my go-to game which I reach for when I don't want to have to think about like setting stuff up. I just want to get into some gameplay. This game is from the Command and Conquer series and this particular title is called Generals and it was published around 2003 so what's that 10 years old though just over 10 years old give or take. Uh, there was an expansion pack made available called Zero Hour which I also own and I also love to play great games now before I go on to totally contradict myself it's fair to mention at this stage in the video I do mess about a bit with the settings but that's yeah. purely for the sake of people who are perhaps seeing the game for the first time the but it's not necessary and I think that's the point I'm trying to make so do bear with me okay with that cleared up Imagine, if you will, it's a rainy, cold Wednesday night. Okay, there's nowhere to go. And even if there was, there's no one to go there with. Because all your friends are in their own homes, suffering the same red uh, Wednesday, rainy Wednesday night blues, which you're suffering with. So, there's around an hour until your favourite rainy Wednesday night TV show starts, and you decide to play a game on your Xbox or PlayStation PC, either either. Just something to while away those 60 minutes. So what game do you reach for? Now, just think about it for a moment. It's a really interesting question, and um, one which warrants more than just a passing answer. It's also an answer the games industry would love to know because the video game you choose clearly has immediate playability as the criteria we're working within is so restrictive and constrained. Which criteria? Well, we only have 60 minutes so we don't want anything we have to think too much about setting up. So, for instance, if Euro Truck Simulator 2 is your thing it's my thing at the moment, I'm playing a lot of it check out my other videos uh, if Euro Truck 2 Simulator is your thing, you don't want to be messing about with customising trucks with alloy wheels and paint jobs, etc. Because you don't have the time, you just want to play some game time just to, to kill some time. So, if Black Ops 2 floats your boat, you probably won't be interested in swapping out class loadouts, any of that stuff. You grab what's available and get right into the let's kick some ass stage of the game. After all, you only have an hour, or about 50 minutes by the time the game boots, and you actually get stuck into the game. So, where did this weird subject for a YouTube video come from? I was checking out the best-selling games franchises on Wikipedia, <laughs> as you do, and I found it interesting that only four of the top ten entries were games published after the year 2000. Now, at this stage, it's easy to make 2 and 2 add up to 5. So, if a game's been on sale since 1981, like Mario for instance, it's only right it should have sold way more than something which was only published in 2003, like Call of Duty, right? Well, I don't think it is right. I don't think the sums add up. Nintendo, for instance, has built its fortune on the very topic I'm talking about today. They understand a game can have that certain something which keeps pulling a player back to play it time and again. I mean, in my case, for over 30 years. And I still enjoy a game of Mario on a PS1 or GameCube. Remember them? Just as much as I always did. And here's the reason why, as I see it. Once upon a time, when you switched on your console, the only options you needed to set up were whether you wanted single player or two player. After making that choice, you were underway, either on a new game or from your last save point. 
time elapsed actually in play was relatively short, perhaps four or five minutes per level, and some were much shorter than that. But what that means is, when your mum or your girlfriend or your wife calls to say your programme is about to start on the TV, you're never more than four or five minutes away from a save point, even if you just started a new level. So what that means is you can reach this point, save your game, shut down and have time to make a coffee before your program starts. So in comparison, let's take a look at Black Ops, Black Ops 2 on the Xbox. For starters, if you only have an hour to kill and your Xbox decides it needs a software update when you connect to Xbox Live, that can be 15 minutes of your game time eaten into before you've even got the game started. Then there's the lengthy cold start time for Black Ops 2 itself. I mean, it makes me want to smash those glasses into his nose when I'm in a rush. Then you have to make about five different selections for like public match, find a match, match type. Do you want to play um, capture the flag? Do you want to play team deathmatch? Do you want to play hardpoint? And that's without taking into account the intro countdown and numerous migrating host delays, which we all suffer. If you choose Capture the Flag, there's a 7 second spawn delay, which drives me bonkers. Perhaps that's just because I die a lot, but even so, it all adds time. With Mario, however, once that level ends, you can shut it right down and go and watch TV. It's quick and it's convenient. Um, another reason I don't subscribe to the being published longer means more sales school of thought is marketing. Game marketing today takes place on a mammoth scale, especially so for the giant franchises with the huge advertising budgets. Activision will spend, I reckon, hundreds of thousands of dollars advertising the new DLC map packs for its most recent Uprising release which came down the wires back in April. That's without what it costs to employ Hollywood giants like Ray Liotta, Michael Madsen, Joey Pandaloni and Chaz Parmenteri who play the four primary characters in the new Zombies title Mob of the Dead which came with the Uprising download. I mean that's like a, a who's who of Martin Scorsese actors right there. So. This advertising is going to hit us gamers from all angles, as those clever robots at Google work out what our tastes are with the use of cookies, and service adverts accurately attune to those tastes. So back in the day, Nintendo only had a few speciality magazines to rely on. Their marketing was, for the most part, carried out by word of mouth. But it worked pretty well, and soon everyone had a Nintendo. So, yeah, I mean, Nintendo obviously have, you know, the uh, the recipe, they, ha they have some great games, which are absolutely, I mean, uh, Mario has become Nintendo's logo, pretty much, you know, they, they own the, the copyright and they ride it at every given opportunity, so it does make you wonder what makes a really good go-to game, for me. My go-to game's not Mario. It's not even a Nintendo game. My go-to game is the game you're watching today. It's Command and Conquer Generals for the PC, um, published by EA Games. And whilst there are a few selections to make at the start of a game, it's all really, really quick and easy. The only thing I'm waiting to load is the game itself. Also, big point, it doesn't depend on the connection of one of my teammates who perhaps is sitting in his igloo in deepest Alaska. So that obviously has a bearing on my gameplay. So there are many reasons a particular game can become your go-to game. So perhaps next time you make such a choice, uh, maybe you could give a little thought as to why you chose that game particularly and drop your answer into the comment section below. I would love to know what floats your boat, as well as why, because uh, I'm sure we all got some interesting comparisons to make. And uh, with that, 
I'll wind it up. Thanks for listening. If you like what you see or like what you hear, please thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Be soldier out.